let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. Yeah. Next thing that you know, you see it. <laughs> Octopus in the neighborhood, surfing on a sine wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, pick your second right past Mars. On the magic school bus, navigator nostril, climb on the magic school bus, make a plane turn to. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. They've sure been under there a long time. I don't like it. I'm worried, and I'm very concerned. Well, I'm not. The Frizz wouldn't let anything happen to the Magic School Bus ever. She might not have a choice, Wanda. A VMI is a very powerful person. A very powerful person? Uh, I thought a VMI was a vehicle maintenance inspector. It is, Ralphie. But Carlos just called Junket a very powerful person. He's both, Ralphie, a VMI and a VPP. Oh, well, Mr. Junket, a bus for all seasons, don't you think? It's missing a spring or two and it's ready to fall apart, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Look at this. There's acid all over the paint, the fenders are dented, and the roof looks like it got hit by a meteorite. Oh, I know. Isn't that wonderful? Mm, mm, mm. This engine doesn't look any better. Looks can be so deceiving, can't they? That engine runs like a dream. Well, I don't know how. Your spark plugs are shot. It's a miracle this bus even starts. It ought to be condemned. <laughs> oh, to the contrary, Mr. Junket. My bus is reliable, responsible, and dependable. Well, now it's expendable. And therefore, I'm recommending that your bus be sent to the junkyard. <gasps> oh, no. Junket wants to junk it. He can't do that. Not our bus. I realize our bus may not look its best right now, but I assure you there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. Why, there's even something magical about it. Magical? Oh, really, Miss Frizzle? I don't recall anything in the safety manual about magic. <laughs> I have a suggestion. Why don't you take a test drive with me and the kids? Let me prove to you that from engine to exhaust, my bus is as fit as any bus in the fleet. Ah, uh, sorry. I have to get back to the office and accept my award for Vehicle Maintenance Inspector of the Year. <gasps> I heard all about it. Congratulations! And by the way, I voted for you. You did? How nice. Well, I suppose we could take a short drive. Class, time to take chances, get messy, and take Mr. Junket for a ride. <laughs> to the bus. What if the bus doesn't pass the test? What if the engine stalls? Hmm, comfortable, Mr. Junket. You must be joking. The seats are sagging and the springs have sprung. Ah, oh, just feel the power. It's almost as if we were flying up this hill, don't you think? Had smoother rides on a roller coaster. I don't know how I let you talk me into this. The junk heap is too good for this bus. I wish Mr. Junket wouldn't talk about our bus that way. Maybe if we told him how much we love it, he'd change his mind. I doubt it, Phoebe. Junket's gonna scrap our bus unless we do something to stop him. Chill out, you guys. If I know Miss Frizzle, she's got a plan. Then again, maybe she doesn't. 
Oh, dear, what can the matter be? I knew it! I knew I shouldn't have listened to you! I knew I shouldn't have taken this test drive! Now I'm going to miss my award! Here's your cat, Mr. Junkin. Oh, I just can't seem to find the problem. The engine just stopped working. However... That's it! I've had it! This bus is condemned! The first phone I see, I'm calling a tow truck! This bus is history! I'll be back! Hmm. Don't you just love it when things like this happen? It adds such spark to the day. <sighs> what are we gonna do? He's gonna take our bus away! Not if we can start it before he gets back! Oh, nice noise, Bus. But is it the right noise? Maybe Mr. Junket was right. Maybe our bus is busted. No way, Tim. We can't let our bus down. We've got to get it started. But how can we get it working if we don't even know how it works? I know how it works. Uh, sort of. I mean, uh, an engine makes the bus run, right? And for the engine to run, it has to burn gas, right? Well, that's certainly fuel for thought. But we put gas in before we left. Yes, but the gas tank's all the way in the back. And the engine's all the way up here. I knew that. Then maybe... The gas isn't getting from back here to all the way up here for some reason. If we could just follow the gas to the engine, we could find out the problem. How can we possibly do that? All set, Keisha. Yep. Heads up! What I even ask? This is a field trip, isn't it? Look at it this way, Arnold. If we don't fix the bus now, there may never be another field trip. Let's go! We've got a bus to save! Hit it, Liz! What's going on? Where are we going? Whoa! Whoa! I know that smell. It's gasoline. I hate that smell. Get used to it, Arnold. We're inside the bus's gas tank. Okay, so the question is, how does the gas get from all the way back here to all the way up in the engine? That way. The gas is going into some kind of tunnel or pipe. As Christopher Columbus said when he set sail to look for America. All aboard for parts unknown! Our men, the oars, me hearties! Full speed ahead! Stroke, stroke, stroke! Faster, faster! The sooner that bus is out of my life, the better! Frizz to Liz! Frizz to Liz! Come in, please. We're moving out of the fuel tank and into the fuel line. Stand by. Ready, set, dock! It's a tight squeeze in here. I guess gas doesn't need a lot of room to get to the engine. Look up ahead. The gas seems to be trying to get through, but it's blocked by something. Is it just me, or is that peanut butter I smell? It is peanut butter. Maybe this is what's stopping the gas from getting through to the engine. And without gas, the engine won't run. Make way for the gas! But what's peanut butter doing inside the fuel line? Yeah. Mm. Good question. Junk it! We're almost there! Step on it! I'm getting an award today, did I tell you? Twice! Oh. Line's clear, Ms. Frizzle! <laughs> the gas is flowing again. Then the engine should start. Right, Miss Frizzle? Oh, we'll soon find out. Seats, everyone. Turn the key, Liz!
engine, Miss Frizzle? Technically, no. We've just been pumped into the carburetor. Oh, my favorite place. Keep pumping, Chris! I don't get it. We got the gas flowing. How come the engine won't start? Maybe it needs more than just gas. Oh, maybe it's too chilly in here for the gas to work. Yeah, I feel a draft, too. It's coming from that opening, up there. Right you are, Tim. Air. Of course. Don't you remember what we learned in fire safety? You need air for things to burn. And since a running engine burns gas... The engine needs gas and air to run. Well, we're not getting that much air. That's because something's covering the opening. Hmm. A peanut butter sandwich. Junk it! You ever win an award? Let's just get that bus, okay? Yeah, sure. How come I have to be on the bottom? The glass stack-up was my idea. It's really stuck. Ugh. Wait, I think I'm getting it. Almost. Uh, got it. Whoa. What is that? Oh, no. A, a tow truck. There's a tow truck out here. They're going to tow us away. Hold on, Arnold. Now that we have gas and air, maybe the engine will work. Start it up, Liz! Liz! Oh, come on, Liz. Don't quit on us now. Champions thrive on adversity. Heroes are born at times like these. Turn the key, Liz! Hold it. Is that awful hunk of junk trying to start? I thought everyone had gone for help. Okay, so here's where the gas and air mix together. So, where does it go next? Now I know what a toss salad feels like. Come on, put the pedal to the metal, Liz. We're trapped. Something's wrong. Liz, stop turning the key. Where did everybody go? Anybody home? Thought for sure I heard this mechanical mistake for a motor trying to turn over. <laughs> that must be working too hard. All right, let's get out of here. I should have stayed home today. Hey! Wait for me! Come back here! I have an award to pick up! I had such a good speech to give. Now I'll never get to give it. Again. Oh boy, we're in real trouble now. He's all 
yours, Mike. The VMI said to crush it. What happened now? What was that? This is Arnold! We're in the junkyard! What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I wish I knew! I wish I knew! But you have got to turn the key! We're moving! Yay, Liz! Hey! We're going down like an elevator! That smells like... I think I smell gas. Yeah! Now the gas is following us! Oh, not to worry, class. When it comes to pistons, what goes down? Must go up. Maybe now the engine's gonna start. Oh, it should, Ralphie. This heartwarming chamber is where all three ingredients we need to get the engine started come together. Gas, air, and what else? Look out! We're gonna get crushed! What happened? Nothing happened. The engine still won't start. Oh, at least we didn't get crushed. Stop! You're going to crush us! Go away! Don't drop that! You'll be sorry! I don't get it, Miss Frizzle. We had gas, we had air, and the bus still didn't run. Maybe the engine's burned out. That's it! That's what's missing! The engine burns gas, remember? We need to find a way to get it to burn. According to my research, you have to be very careful around gasoline because it burns so easily. Oh, that's right, DA. In fact, a big fire can start with just a little spark. Gas, air, and a spark. That's the three ingredients. Did you say spark? Like a spark plug? Like that thing up there? What an explosive discovery, Carlos! But I don't see any sparks. No wonder! More peanut butter! Oh no! We're going down again! I'll get the peanut butter! Oh no! There's more gas and air coming in! Hang in there, Carlos! Whoa! It's a sticky job, but someone's got to do it. Hey, look at all that gas and air coming in. The engine should fire up now. Get ready to blow this joint. Wait a minute. Just how big is this fire going to be? As we travel with the burned gases, let's enjoy the enchanting exhaust pipe, a tunnel of exotic fumes, and dark surprises that will take us into the metallic maze known as the muffler. Whoa! We did it, Miss Frizzle! We got the engine running again! And not a second too soon! We gotta get the bus out of here! Hit it, Liz! The Mesmer Globber should work now!
We got gas to mix with air. Added a spark and kaboom! We've got the engine running again. Liz, that was fantastic! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hold it! Where's Arnold? There he is, on the carburetor. He's on his way to the cylinder. Now he's about to go through the exhaust system. Arnold, are you all right? I'm fine, Miss Frizzle. Anyone want a peanut butter sandwich? <laughs> Arnold. Arnold! Speaking of peanut butter, where's Mr. Junket? <laughs> We'll be right with you, Mr. Junket. You hang on now, Mr. Junket. Here he comes. But, Miss Frizzle, we can't let Mr. Junket know the bus is magic. <laughs> he can't know what he can't see, can he? Cover me. You okay, Mr. Junket? You must have been scared. Let me fix your cap. Oh, let me brush you off. Okay, bus. Here we go. Excuse me! Excuse me! That's strange. I... I thought for a second that that bus was a tow truck. Hop in, Mr. Junket. There's still time to get your award. <laughs> Looks like I owe you and your class an apology, Miss Rizzle. As my great Aunt Janine used to say, a good engine is worth the price of ignition. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? Magic school bus. 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 Magic School Bus, the producer speaking. Hi, I just watched a show on engines. It was a real blast. Only one question. Do you really expect us to believe that Miss Frizzle and her class could stay alive inside a real engine when it's running? It's more than 3,000 degrees in there. We know that. It was just our way of showing you how an engine works up close and personal. Thanks for calling. Magic School Bus. Is this the producer? At your service. What can I do for you? About your engine show, peanut butter is a pretty silly way to stop an engine from working. Silly, maybe, but it sure would gum up the works. Then why didn't they use gum? Thanks for calling. Hmm, why didn't I think of that? Magic school bus. Glad you're still there. My dad's a vehicle maintenance inspector, and he told me gasoline is extremely dangerous. Neither kids nor adults should ever play with it. You're right, and Dorothy Ann told the kids that when they were inside the cylinder. Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot. Well, that's okay. You can't be told that often enough. D hold on a sec. Hey, careful with that gasoline, Liz. Any other questions? Well, aren't there a lot more pieces to an engine than you mentioned in your show? <laughs> oh, a lot. Like the radiator to keep the engine from getting too hot and the battery that makes the spark plug spark. But we can only show so many in a 30-minute program. Would you mind calling back? Liz! Hey, Liz! Turn that thing off! I can't hear! Magic school bus. <laughs> Producer speaking. Surfing on a sine wave, swinging through the stars. Take a left at your intestine. Take your second right past Mars on the magic school bus. Navigator nostril. I'm on the magic school bus. Make a plane turn to. Stop your bum.
Sailors right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete. You might get baked into a pie. On a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild ride. 